Hey you guys, so welcome to what I'm going to call my first vlog. Uh, this is still beauty related, I absolutely promise. I am in the car right now at a red light, promise, and I'm headed to my mom's house. Uh, me, her, and my sister are doing something special. We are getting our eyebrows microbladed. So here's what they look like pre microblade I have some makeup on but no eyebrows so let's see how this weekend turns out hey guys so I am at the hotel in Oklahoma and then in the morning we are gonna head out for our microblading and we are doing that in Texas so I'm gonna hit three states this weekend uh, we went shopping a little bit I got a little bit of TJ Maxx haul that I might show y'all later I don't have it in here with me right now though Went by Target and got some cute stuff for my vanity. And I uh, went to the casino for a second and yeah, I didn't get any money. So that's cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's just my check-in for tonight. And this is my last night with these eyebrows. Oh, I'm so nervous, but I'm so ready. Okay, I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Okay guys, so I'm at the microblading place and we are about to get these things fixed. Excuse my rough face, no makeup when you microblade, sorry. But uh, yeah, we're about to get started. It's going to be kind of quick, I'm going to give you all a little overview of everything and yeah, so see you all in a second. Okay, so these are mapped out. They're not going to look this crazy, but I'm going to have a whole arch. I'm excited. I mean, I can feel it. I don't know. I mean, it didn't hurt, but it was supposed to hurt. <laughs> right. No, I just barely touched it. I didn't feel that. Did you do a cut? Mm hmm. So that's good, I just heard them. <laughs> Okay guys, are y'all ready? Here are the brows. Look at these things. I have whole entire brows. They're a little wet looking right now because I've got some stuff in them. And there's still some dots from her stencil. But y'all, I have brows. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is my like two hours after they're done check-in. And so far, so good. I like them a lot. And uh, I wanted to show y'all the room I'm staying in. So here is a quick sweep of that. It's so cute. And I likes it. There's my sister. Say hi. Hi. But yeah, this room is so nice. You want to say hi? This is my mommy. She got hers done too. Can I show them? Yeah, hers look amazing too. But that is our check-in for now. We'll see y'all in a minute. Okay guys, so I am back and I have got um, a check-in. I know I promised y'all two-day check-in and I am really sorry I forgot I got busy cuz life but uh, this is gonna be I guess my week check-in it's Friday and I got my brows done last Saturday so we're pretty much at the week point um, before I show you up close I just want to give you a little information <laughs> okay so um, before I show you up close I just want to go ahead and tell you uh, when I got my brows done, my artist was very professional. Her name is Shay Hubbard. She was amazing. She was very upfront about everything. 
told me exactly what to expect and honestly so far she's been completely right um, she also was very fairly priced I know you're gonna see a lot of videos that tell you you know microblading like in LA it's $1,200 and even in the bigger cities in my area it runs usually around $500 so like Dallas area Shreveport if you know where Shreveport is let me know in the comments because that means you're probably pretty close to me but uh, even there it's like 500 so at her studio it is $200 which is kind of high but if you factor in like how much you probably spend on brow products and how much time you spend on your brows if you do them a lot plus to me good brows you just can't really put a whole lot of a price tag on that as long as you can afford it so two hundred dollars for some good brows that are going to last you one to three years is not bad <clears throat> and there is a mandatory touch-up appointment i have to go back in about a month I will give y'all another update after I do that so you can see what they're going to look like at the very end. But I have to go back in a month just to touch up anything that's messed up. If I want to adjust the shape and the color, all that stuff. Which, if you think I should adjust the shape and the color, let me know down there. I want some opinions. Because if it were up to me, they would be way thicker and way darker. And I would probably be walking around looking completely crazy which is a terrible idea so let me know if there's anything I should adjust in your opinion down in the comments and I'm going to take those into consideration when I go for my final touch up but that is included in the price so that's really nice with it being so much cheaper than other places I thought I was going to have to pay extra for a touch up so I did panic a little before I went but I asked her when I got there touch up is included because it's just a mandatory part of microblading you have to get a touch up <clears throat> but uh, her studio is called blissful brows it is in paris texas so if you are kind of in like the northeast like this part of texas up there uh, that would be a wonderful thing to do honestly like in dallas it's going to run you at least probably 500 dollars to get microblading not hating obviously she's the only one i've been to there could be wonderful artists there but to me, even a couple hour drive, which I had to drive probably two or three hours to get to her, was totally worth saving that like $300 because gas is expensive, but it ain't that expensive. So for me, that was totally worth it, but I will leave all of her info, her Facebook page, all that stuff down in the description. So if you want to get with her, go ahead and contact her through there she's absolutely amazing she will make you feel so comfortable and she will sit there and talk to you the entire time she is super sweet and I have messaged her bugging her even today because of some things going on with my brows and she's totally understanding answers any questions you have just a very sweet lady and I love going to her she was so nice but what you're waiting for I know you can see the brows but you can't see the brows so here is a far away I have definitely got a whole brow now, which is incredible because if y'all pay attention at the beginning of my makeup tutorials, I only had like half an eyebrow and it was like all the way through here, which is not cool. So I have not um, put product on them because I can't. I'm trying to be safe. I'm going to wait till like Monday to put actual products on my brows. And even then I might not just because I really like how they look. But I'll be able to wear makeup more starting on Monday, so in a couple of days. Um, is that it? I guess that's really it. I mean, uh, so far I love how they look. But I'm going to give you a quick zoom in and just show you some stuff that you can expect when you get them microbladed so that you don't panic. And when I come back with my update after my touch-up, we'll make sure that all of this is fixed. And God loves Shay. I'm sure it all will be. She's amazing. So she's going to fix everything for me and uh, fix my brows however I want them that they aren't already. So let's zoom in. Okay, so just to be close up, you can see here I'm missing a couple little patches. Looks like I did that little uh, thing where you shave part of it. Um, over here it's a little, little tiny bit patchy, but it is not bad at all. It just needs to be a little thicker. But here's the good thing about that. Since I'm going back, I already sent her some info on what's going on with my brows, told her what I'm worried about, all that stuff. And uh, she said when I come back, she's going to touch this up and go a little deeper in just to make sure that, you know, there's not little slits in my eyebrows through here. 
and no, I'm not supposed to touch them. I'm trying not to. But this could have been something as simple as, you know, I did wash my hair. I'm supposed to be surviving on dry shampoo this week, but I couldn't do it. So I washed my hair. Tried not to get my eyebrows wet, but I might have. And that could have done it. Or if I, you know, scratched my eyebrows in my sleep or something, that could have made a little bit of the ink come out too. So what we're going to do to fix them is just go back in, add some ink there. And it's darker through here because that's where I have actual brow hair. So she's just going to go in through here and add some extra ink and make it a little darker on these tails and the arches so that it matches better. Because the front of both of my eyebrows have quite a bit of hair, but everything from here back on both of them is pretty much all ink. I don't have brows there. So if you can tell, like, we're going to zoom in a little bit more. So if you can see, like, they are really patchy and I need to clean up right here, but they look pretty natural even way up close. You can just tell that they need to be a little bit thicker and that's really the only issue going on here. But yeah, this is the brows. We just need a couple little strokes here. Fill this in where I probably messed it up. Make these a little bit thicker. And as for the rest of it, I don't know. So let's zoom back out. Okay, so what I need from you guys is now that you've had a close-up look, I want you to tell me what you think. Like, be honest. I don't mind. I got my first hate comment the other day. I was kind of a little bit flattered. That's the first time anyone's actually taken the time out to tell me I suck on here. Fine with me. If you hate them, let me know. If you like them, because I like them, let me know that for sure. And if you have any suggestions on, like, how I should shape them up, Leave that in the comments too. I'm trying not to go too crazy. Like, I don't want them super thick. She was right. Like, this is thick enough, I think, for daily. Because I got to think that, like, I'm not going to have on a full face of makeup every day. And you don't want to be walking around with super dark, thick brows with no makeup. Or, well, maybe you do. But, like, I don't. I don't, I don't think I do. But let me know in the comments what you think I should do to them, what I should add how you feel about them. Should they be a little darker? Should they be a little thicker? I'm kind of OCD and I feel like this needs filled in a little bit so it's not so like boop boop. But maybe I'm imagining things. I don't know. I could be. But uh, <laughs> that is it for this video. Um, I know this is the first time I posted anything kind of like with a vlog in it and I was so nervous and everybody was looking at me like I was crazy every time I took my camera out which wasn't a lot of times, but they looked at me like I was crazy. But if you like that style, let me know. You know, I can take y'all, maybe I can take y'all shopping with me, or, you know, I can take y'all with me to my next appointment. I'll do that for sure. Or I can just take y'all with me wherever. If you want me to, you can follow me around. I'm pretty boring, but I could do vlogs here and again when I do something kind of fun. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Just leave that down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up on this video because that makes me feel like I did something right and I like to feel like I did stuff right. <laughs> so uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you can see the update when I get my touch up done. And I guess that's it you guys. See y'all later. Bye.